Hello, you are very much welcome back to my channel. I'm very glad to have you here once again. Today, I have a very important update for all aspiring students who are planning to study and then stay in Germany. Yeah, as you know already, this visa processing can be very hectic. That is why I try my best always to make videos on visa for you to make your way very easy and simple for you. So this video is actually an update of two of my videos. One video I made on how to know that your visa has been approved. In that video, I spoke of how to know and then what to do after. And then another video I did on application requirements. I also mentioned something about visa inside. So I'm going to leave all those videos in the description button so you can check out, you can check them out. So this video is going to bring you the updated version, the changes that has been made in the visa requirements. That's why I'm here because I've received not less than six emails asking the same question because the changes or the updates they've made is very, it's, it's a bit confusing. And then most students or most people find it very difficult to understand. That is why I am here today. So I will start by giving you the requirements and then I tell you the changes that has been made inside or the changes that have been made. So before we dive into it, pick your pens and your notepads and then let's dive straight into today's video. All right, let's get straight into it. So in my video where I spoke on how to know when your visa has been approved, and then what to do afterwards. In that video, I mentioned that when your visa has been approved, you receive an email or a text message or a phone call asking you to bring your flight reservation and then your travel insurance. So now that is not done. That system has changed. And then now the only time you know that your visa has been approved is when you get to the embassy and then your passport has been handed over to you that's when you know that have i been rejected or i've been issued the visa so if you find a white paper inside it means you have been rejected that is the reasons they've stated on the white paper or the a4 sheet or something so if you have if they hand over your passport to you without anything inside that is when you know that your visa has been approved but that is not the focus of today's video the focus is that if they are not asking for your travel insurance and then your flight reservation then how would they know when you are going to travel that's the focus so it means that the visa requirements or the visa checklist has changed they've made changes inside and then i need to bring that to your notice because i've always promised to bring you the accurate up-to-date information so now let's run through the checklist the checklist for sure, you are going to be asked to bring your application form. That's the application form that you filled online. Then I have a video on this channel to help you fill the application form, the visa application form. And then you will need your visa application fee. That's 75 euros. 75 euros. This is to Ghana, the, the embassy in Ghana. I don't know of other countries. That is why you need to always stay close to this channel and then checking be checking updates on the website of the embassy in your country because they always make changes they, they usually make changes most of the time so you have to stay updated yeah and then your passport as as, as well as yeah your passport for sure you you need your passport and then your biometric photo or what we call passport picture you will need that one as well and then your bac and then your wasi certificate you will need that your cv i've mentioned all those things on this channel and then your admission letter admission letter also you need it your english proficiency if you are working you need your job contract and then a letter from your employer stating that they are allowing you to go yeah and then your pay slips your pay slips i've had people who are who have been asked to bring their pay slips so i know that's what i'll give the information i've given you is true and then it's correct and then your proof of finance whether it's blocked account obligation letter or your scholarship letter i've made videos on this one as well so the most important part is what i am getting to now if you have not subscribed to the channel kindly subscribe and then hit on the notification bell so that anytime i upload a video you'll be the first person 
to be notified and then you come here to check it out so the most important changes that they've done is the health insurance part health insurance so at first they were only requesting for your health your travel insurance even and then that was even after they, they want to give you your visa that is when they ask but now before you go to the interview they need this travel insurance and then the travel insurance they've divided it into two and then i would like to read it from their website i will share the link to you so that you also know it so now they've done it health insurance and then health insurance they've divided it, they've divided it into two saying that incoming health insurance from entry to enrollment people have been making this screenshot and then sending me every day what does it mean what does it mean? that's why i'm here to make this video so entry health insurance health, incoming health insurance from entry to enrollment and proof of national or statutory health insurance st starting from enrollment and then they've given this instruction that a health travel insurance is not enough the travel health insurance is not enough so what they are trying to mean here is that they need your health insurance that is a german health insurance that's what they call national health insurance here starting from your enrollment that when you are enrolled in your program they want a health insurance starting from that time so now i will recommend you to try check out tk aok dr vata and then uh, malvesta depending on your age because if you have if you have more 30 years or more you don't qualify for the health insurance the public one so you'd have to check out the private ones i've made videos on health insurance so you can check that out but before you come here now they need it at first it was when you come to germany then you get your health insurance now they need it even before your interview so the free one which you don't pay anything and then this video is not sponsored by dr vata it's not sponsored by anyone i'm only sharing my experience and then my knowledge to you as a colleague student yeah so the free one that you wouldn't pay anything is dr vata i will leave the link in the description button for that one you can register at the comfort of your room your home without paying yeah you won't pay anything and then it is valid you can take it with you to the embassy for your interview now let's move to because there is other ones like malvesta but that one you will pay 50 euros 50 euros in your home country if you are not here you would have to pay your, the registration fee but if you come here and then you are registering you don't pay anything so for you to save money and then to be economical dr vata is there for you to register for free yeah like i said this video is not sponsored by dr vata i'm not getting any promotion or any money for doing adverts for dr vata no it's not advert i'm just giving you information and then the next one after the statutory health insurance the next one is travel insurance and then this one to have done video on it so now get it in mind that you need your travel insurance and then a national health insurance in germany even before you come they need it so just go online if you're not interested in the one that i've recommended go online maybe you have someone in germany here who might recommend another one for you it's fine but whichever way you use or whichever service provider you use you can change it when you come here so that is not a big deal so i've cleared that doubt this is the changes that has been made the update that has been made in the visa checklist the visa checklist you need your travel insurance and then your national insurance your national health insurance in germany you need those two these are the two important things. one friend went to the visa interview on tuesday i told him to bring to send it to take it along with him but he forgot he went there and then he was asked to bring it so he had to send it yesterday that is wednesday so that's why i make it i said no let me make this video people are asking me let me make it to clear everyone's mind and then to keep my viewers and my subscribers my followers my friends and family updated so that is all let me end the video here i wouldn't let it to be so much long i have more videos that i'll be bringing your way so just stick glued to app voice tv and then i wish you all the best in your visa interview 
I hope that one day we will all meet in Germany and then we will share our experiences together. We will meet again in my next video and until then, I say may the peace of the Lord be with you. Bye-bye.